the international business startup in Canada. The ICT startup program allows key staff members of a foreign business to travel to Canada on a temporary basis to open a new office and begin doing business. When applying for an ICT startup visa, applicants must demonstrate their company ability to become established in Canada. They must provide documentation that shows that the company can financially support a startup operation. They will also have to outline plans for staffing and doing business in Canada and prove that they have secured or are in the process of securing a physical premise. Individuals being transferred through the ICT startup program must fall under one of the two categories. Executive or managerial, the company must demonstrate that it is large enough to support an executive managerial function or specialized knowledge. The company must show that the employee's knowledge is propriety and essential to startup operations. The ICT startup program provides a one-year temporary work permit. This is a one-year temporary work permit. Renewal of this permit is conditional and depends on the company fulfilling three major factors. So only for the one-year temporary work permit being renewed, the company has to fulfill three major factors. These are the Canadian and foreign companies must maintain a qualifying relationship, branch, subsidiary or affiliate of the foreign employer. Both the new Canadian office and the foreign employer must have engaged in the continuous provision of goods and services for the past year and the new office must have been a staff. So those are the three requirements allowing for the person to be able to extend the temporary work permit in Canada under this program. And now we're going to take a look at the information in the Government of Canada website. And now we are in the website for foreign workers, work permits to start up business class, permanent resident visa applicants. So we're seeing the guidance here on this page, who is eligible and these are the requirements. So to be eligible for a start up business class work permit, the following requirements must be met. So we have the applicant must intend to resign the province or territory other than Quebec. An offer of employment to a foreign national is sent from a labor market import assessment, LMIA, having completed by foreign national as self-employed and the foreign and employer compliant having submitted to IRCC. And then you have all the requirements here. The work permit issuance, but depending on the circumstances, you have a port of entry inside Canada or outside Canada. And then you have specific information for those three scenarios. And they have the specific forms that you need to fill out. Okay. Work permit processing, they have the information for the role of the processing office. And all the information pertinent to that application. And also this information, the, the, the type of code the officer will use in this type of, of applications, okay? For entrepreneurs, start of visa, duration 12 months, okay? 20 workers, validation code, NOC. So you have all the information, the employer, name, the location, etc. Then you have also information about the com uh, commitment certificate of funds and you have a guy of the, the side of your family how, mu how, mu how much fun you need to uh, prove and this is for the application and this passes of a start of business work permit holders then you have information about this as well so it's, it's a good information for a startup the link is provided in the lecture so I hope you can take a look at it and get more information and more questions that should be answered through going through the page and the help information links. So please take a look at this information and thank you very much.